Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to copy a file from Android to PC and PC to Android using a tool called ADB shipped within Android SDK. So to follow along with this tutorial, make sure you've already installed Android SDK and properly configure the path so you can access ADB from your command line. Another thing is make sure that you are also connecting your device to your PC in debug mode. You can use USB debugging method or you can also debug over Wi-Fi. In this tutorial, I'm using the debug over Wi-Fi method to connect my device to my PC. The tutorial has broken up to several parts. First part, which is this part, I will copy file from PC to Android external SD card. Second, I will copy file from PC to Android internal storage. Third, I will copy file from Android to my PC. So okay, let's get started. Open up command line. And here I have command line already opened and this is just a regular command line with a necessarily require admin rights. First, I will check whether or not my PC is recognizing my Android devices by typing Android device. Oh, I'm sorry. ADB device, I'm sorry. Devices, such as nothing connected. So I will recheck ATB connect. This is the IP address. Hit enter, connect it to. So let's type ADB devices. Uh, and then you see my device is already recognized by this PC. So okay, let's create a file, simple file text. This is comes from PC and save that as from PC.txt. Hit enter and there we go. From PC, this file we created just a moment ago, and this file that we'll send to our Android device. You can use existing file if you have, but in this tutorial, I just create a dummy file. Now to send this file, send this file to my Android device, we use ADB push from pc.txt and I have already folder called underscores received right inside the external SD card on my Android device so I will send this file there storage storage SD card one underscores received and hit enter Okay, before I check that file in my device, let me explain the two things. In this PC, this file is stored as the same directory as command line root, which is in this case C users ZDND, as you see here. This is the file. And so to push this file into my device, I just need to specify the file name, which is from PC.txt and of course the extension .txt so if you want to send files that are different from your root tell adb where's the file by giving absolute path to the file so for instance suppose you have file name data.txt in g plus data so you should tell adb by giving full path to the data.txt like this data data.txt so let's send this file to adb push I'm sorry push past and copy that to storage SD card one receive hit enter 
There we go. Now we can check whether or not the files has, have been sent. First, I will check through ADB shell. ADB shell. And let me go to storage. Storage. SD card one. Underscore receive. Receive. Hit enter. Mm, I'm sorry. SD card storage. SD card one. Receive. I'm sorry. Storage. CD. SD card one. CD received. Mm, here we go. And let's sing ls. Mm. So here we go. Here are the files that we've created before, which is from VC and that.txt. So let's check in the real device instead. Here is my real Android device. And I'm already opened my file explorer. So let's check up the SD card and folder underscore received. And as you see here, we have data.txt and from vc.txt that we've created before from our PC. That's it. This comes from PC. Next video, I will show you how to copy file from PC to internal Android storage.